A superhero sits in the front row seat of my classroom. In a public school, there's not enough room for him to spread his cape, so he sits still. Still, when he reaches for his notebook, I can see the collar of his cape show through. He doesn't share this secret with his classmates, but I can tell a superhero sits in the front row seat of my classroom. In a classroom full of hungry hearts and eager minds, he often feasts alone with a mind full of edible wishes. But he tries not to bite off more than he can chew, still he dreams with forkfuls. As empty promises cut through his beliefs, he continues to spoon feed his endless thoughts with fistfuls of uncertainties, hoping faith will teach him proper table etiquette. He's not sure where to place the second fork and how the fold of the napkin should crease like the skin under his eyes from sleepless nights. He's become all too familiar with filling his drinking glass with tears and placing it next to his plate during meals. His father once scolded him for crying in public, so he puts the cup down as a silent reminder for how he feels he indulges in his notebook, feeds thoughts to his pencil. Fast food dreams are devoured like three-course meals. He licks his lips after each serving, but in his mind, he doesn't deserve much. The tradition has been well-fed. Consumed in penitentiaries seemed like everyone ate their carrots and their clothes resembled full bellies, impressionable. Obi's footsteps are easy to follow, so he's told to lead, but it's difficult to push aside the carrots when no one else is eating the greens. He holds on to hugs like secrets, keeps them unexposed beneath his clothes so only he could hear them. I came to believe superheroes don't hug. Or maybe this superhero forgot how to place his arms to show affection, forgot how the scent of another human won't erase his mother's but may fill the void he's been missing. He hasn't felt another heartbeat against his chest since his mother was sent to prison. Thoughts can free through metal bars, but affection is given the death sentence, so he keeps his distance as if he's been locked in. What do I say to my student when he doesn't complete his homework because he spent too much time in jail this weekend? What do I tell him when he asks, why me? How do I respond to, I didn't want my life to be this way. Who do I go to when he looks me in the eye and hands me a glass of water? I will tell him, drink up. Let the liquids drown the disappointment that sails on the ship in the pit of your stomach. You are a rock. You can't crumble. If you fall, you won't break. Your heart is too large to weaken. You have to continue to fight time and wait for second chances and understand that when faith has a minute, she will teach you proper table manners. But personally, I think the second fork is there just in case you misplace the first one. And a person that knows how to properly fold a napkin probably has a sad story behind them and bed bugs jump. So hugs aren't always the best sign of love. So don't be afraid to keep your distance. I will tell him. Never stop dreaming, because at the end of any good comic book, the superhero becomes a local child's biggest role model.